Can you dig it, sucker? You are listening to the Hall of Fame. Here's Booker T and Brad Gilmore. So, look, let's get into it. Mandy Rose, 413 days as the NXT Women's Champion, uh, dropped the title Tuesday night live to Roxanne Perez. And it was a festive occasion for all of us here at Reality Wrestling. And I'm sure pro wrestling fans nationwide, we woke up to the news, though, the morning of December the 14th, that Mandy Rose had been released from her WWE contract. WWE officials stated that she was released due to her fan time account, which is similar to that of an OnlyFans, and that some of her third-party content was outside the parameters of her WWE contract. It was gone to report that uh, by Sean Ross Sapp, I think this is unconfirmed, but that certain companies that WWE had existing partnerships with were being concerned by the nature and the racy nature of the content being posted on Mandy Rose's fan time page. Mattel has been the name that's been going around a lot the uh, toy manufacturer having some issues with it. Now, Mandy is gone. She's posted a uh, message to all of her subscribers on her fan time saying the page is not going anywhere. And uh, thank you for all the support. Book, uh, you've probably and, been... The, and I think she upped the price. Well, yesterday's price is not today's price. No, you know she, I, mean? I think she upped the price. Like, you know, yeah, you're serious. Well, good I'm for her. Not, I'm not playing. I'm serious. Um... You know, you've been a big supporter of Mandy Rose. We, I've been a big fan. Half my stick. Half my stick going now. <laughs> yeah, Book's going to have to come up with new jokes on commentary. Look, um, here's the thing. The internet's pretty been one-sided on this, kind of anti-WWE uh, regarding the release of Mandy Rose. I'm a little bit more agnostic. I'm kind of – I see both sides of it. I really do. Um, I mean, where do you sit on all this? Because – uh a lot of people have these OnlyFans, Fans Times accounts, right? To try to make some money on the side. A lot of people say that they make more money from that than they do their real jobs. Um, this It's a sticky issue. And I think that the reports even said WWE was put in a tough position regarding all of this. Um, I don't know. I mean, what, what what is your kind of overall thoughts initially on this whole situation? You know, um, I think it's a bad situation. You know, uh, uh, like you say, uh, the company being put in a situation where they had to do something about it. Uh, Mandy Rose putting herself. Uh, you, how many times? I, what? What's my saying, Brad? You put yourself in a situation. Something's gonna happen. I thought about that. Yeah. I mean, I, I say that all the time. I mean, mm -hmm. and that's just not something I say from a cliche perspective. That that's real. You put yourself in a situation. Something can happen. And and that's exactly what happened here, you know. And and the thing is, you know, I've been around Mandy Rose since you know the beginning, 2016. Yeah. Um, tough enough, I watched her work so hard to you know try to win that thing. She didn't win it, but she still impressed me to the point where I was like, man, give her a contract, put it put it in the game. And um, you know, things didn't work out on uh, on the main roster. She went back to uh, NXT. Man, been banging for the last 413 days as, as champion and created like one of the awesome most awesome runs, um, you know, for a female that we've seen in you know, decades, maybe. Yeah, it's a really great run. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. I'm not just saying that or anything, um, but um, she put herself in a great position to be looked at as a major superstar like Trish Stratus forevermore. People are going to remember Trish forever, and they're going to remember her from, you know, WWE and what she's done in the ring. And trust me, Trish Stratus now – um, is able to do all of that fans only, you know, uh, I mean, only fans, uh, whatever else, um, you know, page she wants to put up and she's going to be able to make even more money from being that WWE superstar for so many years. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and, and what I'm saying is I hate it because that money was going to always be there for Mandy Rose. Right. Yeah. It was going to, it was like money in the bank. She didn't even need it right now. That money is like money in the bank for someone like Mandy Rose. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe she thinks she needs it right now. Maybe she does. I don't know. Okay. But for me, what I'm saying is the bigger her star would have rose in the WWE, the more money that she would have been able to demand going forward in life. Yeah. Yeah, I, and, and again, I understand. Out of, how the out of sight, out of mind. When you're not on television every week, and those people's, I mean, being on TV is so important to being relevant. 
And of course, these days, of course, they say, you don't need TV. We can, we can do our own thing. Of course you can. But your star is not going to shine as bright. Yeah. Um, it, like I said, it's such a difficult thing because, like, I'm reading some of the comments in here right now. Um, and they're saying, well, you know, for instance, one of these things said, you know, WWE, you know, they're mad at her for doing this, but they used to have women in Playboy. Right. Well, it's like, yeah, they used to have women in Playboy 20 years ago. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was a different time. What's, like, the, what's the logic here? What's the logic? What's uh, your point? There's there's and this is the logic, because, look, let's let's make no mistake about it. Mandy Rose um, was presented as a very sexual creature on Hottie, television. Hottie, right? Hottie Biscotti. Hottie Biscotti. Right. And so her sex appeal was a large part of her uh, of her character. It was. Right? Mm hmm. Now, I do want to say, as is, like, for the women and for, for, for men who love other men, like Roman Reigns, his sex appeal is a big part of his run, too. I mean, this I see, like, people reporting just like, oh, WWE sexualizes their women. I think that both sides of the coin here are are used for their sex appeal. Let's not make that mistake. I, 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 I've been around a long time, okay? And I, I'm just going to throw an analogy out here that's just, like, the stupidest analogy in the world right now, Okay. I used to love, love me some Gilligan's Island just so I could watch Ginger Grant. Ginger, yeah. Ginger was the hottest, biscottiest you ever seen <laughs> back in the day. And she was as sexual as you wanted to see a woman. But if she was in, in, in or, or doing porn or exposing herself, do you think they would have had her on Gilligan's Island playing that role? Uh, no, probably not. Exactly but, my point. It's a corporate thing. It has nothing to do with anything other than that. Right. It's a corporate thing. It, and, 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 and being scantily clad and, and sexualized is one thing on television when it's when it's done in a, in a way. I, I get why WWE made the decision. Now, whether I agree with it or not, it's a, it's, a, it's a crappy situation to be in, right? It is. It's a crappy situation to be in because you have this talent who's just giving you a great run. And, you know, she's out there posting content. That, that is less than desirable. And I know people are like, well, they didn't release Paige. Well, Paige didn't put that content out there, right? Yeah. Uh, Soraya, that that was leaked content. This is stuff that Mandy Rose was putting out there. And, and here's the thing. It didn't seem like WWE had an issue with it for a very long time, because I think this fans time page has been out there for a minute. I, From what I can understand, the content did become increasingly more racy, right? That's the question. That's the question. We got to take a break. We got to take a quick yeah. break. Stick around. You're in the Hall of Fame. We'll be back in a minute. Welcome back inside the Hall of Fame. Everybody dog barking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but, um, yeah, let's continue the saga, man. Uh, but, yeah. Um, We're talking about Mandy Rose got a release oh, yes. from WWE for her oh, fan yes. time comment. And, and, and before we go any, anywhere fur further with it, I do want to say, like, if women, men, or, or otherwise want to profit off of selling images or videos of themselves i literally have zero complaints about it you know i don't care if that's what you want to do it's your life you can make that decision right as long as you're not doing anything illegal as long as you're not hurting anybody else or breaking any laws i don't care what it is that you do uh in your own personal time and if it's going to make you some money on the side hey good for you i do want to say this though to your point about wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. Uh, i just want to uh Figure out uh, exactly where you're going there. You don't mind someone doing that on their own personal time, working for a company and, and, and something like that being exposed? Well, no, no, no. So, so that's where I was about to get to. To your point of, of the, your Ginger and Gilligan's Island reference, here's the thing. If you do it and you're on your own time and on your own dime and trying to make a hustle for yourself, hey, bro, that's cool. I mean, play on, player, and girl, do, do you, boo, as they say. But when you... When you represent a company, whether you're a sexualized version of yourself on television or not, the company that's a publicly traded company that markets to children now, yes, back in the day, it was sexualized. It was bra and panties matches. It was Playboy magazine covers. Trust me, that's the era I grew up in. And as a young man, I was thoroughly in entertained. <laughs> thoroughly. Tuned in. Tuned in. I get it. Um, but WWE is very different now than it was 10 years ago than it was 20 years ago. And if Mattel 
comes to me and says, hey, we got this multi-million dollar contract with you and all your talent. We have problems selling this figure, this Mandy Rose action figure to young kids because of what they can go see of her online. If that's their issue, I, I, as a company, I'll be honest with you, as much as I love Mandy Rose and, and love what she's done on television, I'm not going to let one talent, right, interrupt my entire business deal. Right. I can't do that as a company. That's just not good business. Now, whether you think it's morally right what WWE did or not, we can debate that all day. And I might agree with you. But as far as a business decision, if it was affecting my money, I don't care. Book if it was you. I don't care if it's Triple H. WWE, look at what happened. Something they were afraid of what, what the Vince scandal was going to do to their money. And Vince is not there anymore. You, know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. When it comes to business, business decisions have to be made. Um, and no, I just, I just thought it, it it's, just, it's just bad optics uh, more than anything, uh, right. you know, uh, 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 you know, um, just in, in every in every shape um, as far as that go. I don't know what the leak um, um, photos um, was or anything. I didn't look. I didn't find them. <laughs> 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 I mean, I didn't see them. That's that's what I meant to say. <laughs> I, didn't see them. I didn't find them. <laughs> <laughs> But it's obviously <laughs> something out there, man, that was um, too disturbing uh, to move forward. But hopefully uh, Mandy Rose can find her way back uh, to WWE more than anything. Uh, something like this. I really think something like this can blow over, but I think it's going to be up to Mandy um, in order to make something like this right uh, more than anything. Because, you know, Andy, she's very, uh, you know, she's sexual. All yes. right. I mean, she's not me. I mean, the only way I can say it, she's very sexual. Um, but working for uh, WWE, um, those two pretty much they go together in in, in aspects. Um, but but in certain aspects, you know, certain things aren't going to be able to get you know you're not going to get away with. And, and I'll be honest with you, I like you. Um, I I haven't seen the the images that were leaked or whatever. But I but you I didn't did find, you didn't find them <laughs> to, to use your quote. <laughs> I didn't find them. Um, but I I, I will say like look. Um, Bikini photos or lingerie photos or stuff like that. That's one thing, right? Um, All in, yeah. Um, in, in, in certain contexts. In certain contexts. But if it, if it goes, you know, to a, uh, if it goes from being sexually explicit to, you know, soft, porno, soft, pornographic. Soft, soft, even soft porn. Soft porn, yeah. If it goes to pornographic, that, I don't, and I don't know if it reached that level, but from, from reports and from what people are saying online, it, it did cross maybe that threshold. What, from, what, what, what are they saying? What, 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 I don't know. You know what? I don't know what the FCC rules are for us. What, what are people say it? Uh, I'm just saying as far as, you know, were they there were just, nude photos or were there, there was some, action, there was definitely, what the, were there any action photos? Uh, from what I understand, there, there were, there was definitely nudity involved. And there was um, just videos of, of, I don't know. I don't really know. I haven't, and it, for me, I'll be honest with you, it's hard to say when you, you haven't know. seen it. I haven't, I haven't seen anything. You have been, I don't, I don't, that, that sounds sus. You know, you know, amnesia, like you know what amnesia is, like, like book. When, when you're in an interrogation room. Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> book, you know what amnesia is? That means when you don't remember nothing. <laughs> I couldn't find, them. but 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 the point oh is. My God. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to see if people are saying in the uh, chat what if people in the chat know what it is. Please tell me because I I honestly have not seen them, but I did hear that they reached a point to where people in WWE became increasingly more and more uncomfortable with the type of content. Now again, I want to I want to be very clear on saying if you have an OnlyFans or a fans time or whatever you want to have. That's great. But just know, just it's just like the stuff with free speech, right? Like, yes, we have free speech, 100%. But we don't have freedom of consequences, right? Yeah. And if I tell Booker to go F himself, right? Booker might say, that's cool, Brad. You have the right to say that, but you're fired, right? Yeah. I mean, that that's just, I have freedom of speech. I don't have freedom for consequence. And when it comes to business and the company, there's certain things that if you reach a certain line, they don't care who you are. And I have read that maybe... She'll come back uh, eventually. And, and Mandy Rose has the right to put her, her body or image out there any way sure. she wants it. But this is a young lady that has talent. She has so much more talent than just 
her beauty and how she looks. All right, she's made a hell of a career for herself in the WWE over these last five years. And I would hate to see her throw, throw something like that away and fall into a, a world that is very, very dangerous to fall into. Um, let's just say that. I, I'm, I'm wishing for Mandy Rose to make a, a return some way, somehow uh, find her way back to WWE. Uh, and that's just my, me personally. Yeah. Uh, and people, I've heard people say, you know, man, maybe she'd be great in AEW. Uh, she'd be great in TNA. You know, uh, and just, you know, so is Jeff Hardy. Yeah, I, I mean, Mandy Rose is WWE superstar written all over. Um, look, but look, she making money now. No, I say, and I say and then, that. No, and no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to get this out. Um, and the reason I say that when I, uh, is because I was one of the first ones that said AEW took Jeff Hardy immediately after he was having problems. And then all of a sudden, you know, they, they, they wanted to look past that. And like I say, this right here is a problem. You know, more than, any, more than anything, I don't think someone should just jump in and think about let's make some money off of Mandy Rose and her sex appeal and let's put her out there and use her. I'm not, I don't want Mandy Rose to be used by any of these, uh, you know, so called wannabe promoters. Yeah. And um, I will say, I don't know if WWE approached Mandy prior to her being released and saying, hey, you got to tone back the content. I did read a report like they asked her to stop it and she said no. Um, and there was even reports that she asked for a release. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I necessarily believe that. But right now, this is the situation that we're in. And and the thing is, if she's making more money and she's happier doing the fans' times, that's great for her. Like I'm happy for her. But I do agree with you. I think that she is very obviously a physically beautiful woman uh, who's got a lot of sexiness about her. But she's more than just a pretty face. And she proved that in that 413 day run. And um, I, I hate that it's come to an end like this. And I really do. I wish for her to come back to the company and hopefully cooler heads can prevail. They can find some kind of happy medium and uh, and go from there. You know? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Most definitely. Um, I know we got to get up out of here. But if uh, Mandy Rose out there listening to this, Mandy, no, I'm pulling for you. you. You know I got your back. If anybody got your back, you know I got your back. I'm pulling for you. And if you hear me say anything uh, um, that you need to talk to me about, hey, Give me a shout. You know what, man? Hit me up. But um, 